This is Firemind and today we are going to learn how to create these little flying particles that are looking kind of like dust in the forest because the forest has uh, not been cleaned recently. Yeah, it's pretty simple particle system effect which I'm going to show you today and this adds some atmosphere to your forest. Um, yeah, so there's no code involved, it's just customizing the particle system. So it should be pretty easy to follow along. Please enjoy. Okay, so we start off in this very basic forest here that I downloaded from the asset store. It's called, I think, hand-painted forest or something. And what I want to do is I want to add some dust particles to add some atmosphere in here. That's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to use a standard part particle system. And let's go. So the first thing that you want to do, right click on your hierarchy here and then click effects and then particle system and right away you can see that you start off with a uh, very basic kind of emitter for particles so so far this doesn't really look like what we want so let's change that all right so over here you can see the different options that you can set on your particle system so what you want to do is you want to go to renderer and here, first things, I want to chain, change the shape of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for mesh and then set the mesh to cube. And that cube is going to be just white. So that's basically our dust. So since we don't want to waste a lot of CPU cycles on rendering very complex particles we're just going to take the box size and size them down quite a lot so go over to start size and set that to like 1.0.8 maybe so right away you see you have these very small boxes that we are going to use to simulate dust now they're all coming from this one direction here and that is not a reference to that band with the same name anyways so what we want to do now is we want to have them spawn in a wider area so we're going to do that by going to shape and then we're going to change shape to box and then you kind of want to find the middle of your map i think that's here for me and then i'm gonna then you want to uh, look at this blue box here and drag it out so this pretty much widens the space where these particles are spawning And kind of drag this everywhere where you want your dust particles to spawn, like what in the area that you want them to spawn at. Now I also want to set the, spart, uh, the start speed down quite a bit since dust particles are not too su supposed to shoot up, so I'm just going to put that on 1.0. So they're pretty much just staying in the same place, maybe 2.1, 0.2. Um, so yeah, that's fine. And then, then go to rotation over lifetime. You want uh, to activate that so the particles are actually kind of like rotating. And also go over to emission and you maybe want to set that up a little bit depending on how big your area is or how dusty your area is. So I'm just going to set it to 20 for now. And if we had hit play here, we can see that we already we already have some particles uh, running around. However, so far they're all like still kind of going up in one direction, and we want to change that so they're kind of like uh, going around randomly. For that, you want to go to shape, and on shape you have randomized direction. Set that to one. And now you can see like these particles are moving very slow in all directions. Maybe these cubes are a little too big still because they still look like cubes and not like little particles. In the, in um, like for the far view here, you can see it looks pretty good already. It just looks like some dusty stuff. But we maybe want to set down the size a little bit more. So let's put that on 0 0.5. And now we have this nice kind of dusty effect of like little particles floating around which I think adds some atmosphere here. And now that's it. That's how you create like this very basic dusty particle system. If you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments down below. If you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe.